Farina. Sylvia Farina has only played a couple of tournaments since the Fed Cup. The Canadian and New Haven lost in first round of both. She's a feisty, feisty competitor. Prefers to stay at the baseline, has a bigger forehand than that backhand. Good stab volley there. Wonderful point from Farina. And from the CNET GoCam, which is sponsored by CNET, the source for computers and technology at CNET.com. Monica hits that passing shot pretty accurately, pretty close to the line, but Farina with good anticipation. Big groundies from Monica. I still think that backhand side of hers is a little more lethal. Monica likes to stand so close to that baseline. Has pretty short, compact strokes. Monica way in on that uh, return. Inside the baseline for the first serve and about three feet inside for the second serve. Ready to attack. With the early break. Well, Richard Krychek underway. And he starts off his match with a service break. Lorenzo Manta, his opponent. So Salas serving a two love. Good serve, good lefty serve with a bit of slice so it moves away from Farina. Monica plays her best tennis when she can rely on that serve as a weapon. Set up that point for her. Amy Frazier just starting over on the grandstand against Natasha Zverova. Amy Frazier from Michigan, coached by John Austin. No rooting. 30 love. <laughs> Is Monica the kind of player who relies on speed the way Arantxa does or the way Michael Chang would? Oh, she wishes. <laughs> she wishes she was close to as speedy as Arantxa. Now, Bill, that's, that's the last part of her game that has to come back from be, when she was stabbed. She's just nowhere near as fast as she was before she was stabbed. Just about a step behind. Game yes. Love game from Monica Sellis. Three love. First set. Sellis. Well, be sure to check out www.usanetwork.com for our online coverage this year. Great new features like video snapshots, tennis trivia games. You can post comments or questions. And we've got streaming video this year. If you missed the Steffi Graf interview we aired earlier, I believe that's on the web as well. And you can also visit the U.S. Open shop on the Internet. That's still one thing that Monica does so well, probably better than most of the other top players. She moves in off that baseline when she sees a short ball and finishes the point off. Not afraid to move up midcourt and blast it. 30, 30. Second ace. I must say, though, that she's had some results this year that's uh, a little inconsistent. 
you know, we all know what she's gone through, but she lost at Indian Wells to Nagy Over in the third round, and Hilton Head, third round of Lakosova, third round of Wimbledon to Lucic, second round at Eastbourne to Kramer. So these are just early round losses that, she, you know, you didn't see happen in the early 90s. What happens is she doesn't have that same aura. People start to believe they might be able to beat her when they get out there. Five two, first set. Yeah, a little dip in, in water is not a bad thing at the Open, but it's been very comfortable temperature-wise this year. Of course, the U.S. Open a little later this year. Love Monica Sellis is a game away from the first set. Career weeks at number one, Monica Sellis, 178. Just incredible, dominating the game, especially in 91 and 92, where she won three Grand Slams each of those years and ten titles total. Bill, she won eight Grand Slams as a teenager. Only one since she's been back, the 96 Australian. And, and you've just got to wonder if that stabbing just didn't happen in April of 93, how women's tennis, the history, would have would have changed. Built up such a big rivalry with Steffi Groff, and that totally got Great stopped. Tennis. 1996. and then followed that up in 1996 with another appearance in the final. Good change of directions here from Monica. And look how she flips the wrist, that left wrist, around the outside of the ball to get that angle. <laughs> 27 minutes. First set goes to Sellis, 6-2. But again, Sellis will have a chance to serve it out. point again. Monica's got to be pleased with the way she played. 